hi guys welcome or welcome back to sunny healing i hope you guys are doing well today's reading is going to be um, a strong message i am picking up a strong message from lilith lilith um is a goddess i've been working with for a while i just uh, don't like to talk about her so much because she has a very strong presence but i've been picking up very much these days that is going to be important to channel something for you um in fact she could have been calling you out wanting you to spend more time in nature wanting you to do offerings altars some of you have been called out because you're not uh, spending enough time in sacred places or you could be maybe doing too much divination work there could be some kind of imbalance somewhere and uh, again don't shoot the messenger but that i've been picking that up from the collective and messages today are could could be connected to that but they have been very strongly suggested that i start channeling from her at least today so it's going to be um i'll pick a card for you guys so uh, before we get to this we're gonna have two piles pile number one let's get a message for pile one and then pile number two is this one so pile one and pile two you choose a pile or you can listen to both messages this is definitely a strong collective message so it can relate to both um you might get messages for both but uh, it's up to you if you're being called to something again go for it so pile one pile two all right so pile number one all right before we get to your message here let's get to your tarot and then we're going to read the message from the goddess Right, so Lilith has a message for you, Pile One. Okay, first thing I'm hearing is some of you are blocking your light from shining through. I'm hearing that very strongly. You are blocking your light from shining through. Some blockages you've been working on or you're working on right now are um, something you could be still holding on to or you're still uh, going back and forth. I see a cycle back and forth you're growing something you're understanding something you're maturing about something but then you go back to something from the past and you feel bad about it there's guilt there's shame uh, mm -hmm. there are like negative emotions connected to that but the truth is i am picking up here you guys um, the truth is there's no shame to feel these are um, old patterns that are just there to show you how much you have evolved. So sometimes we fall in those old patterns. We fall in the past. We connect to the past thinking like, oh my God, we're doing this over and over again. But the truth is, the truth is that um, the past or your past self here is showing up to give you a strong message telling you, this is where you've been. This is where you could still fall back if you actually want to but you don't have to and it's just a message from the past telling you yes yes these are patterns you're familiar with these are patterns that have made you suffer brought you pain but you know what these are patterns that you have evolved from that you have outgrown we have put you in a new pot just like a plant is being potted out and put in a bigger in a bigger pot they're just showing you you have been put in a new pot do not be afraid of the past do not feel ashamed to fall back in those patterns once in a while okay so this is the first message let's get back to your tarot temperance temperance pine number one um You have uh, to clear the passage. Lilith is asking you to clear the passage. There is a path. It's not that you're blocking it, that you're um, not wanting to see it. It's the fact that there are other people, circumstances, that you are blaming for these blockages. 
you need to release this blame, guilt, or even shame around it. Whatever negative emotions these circumstances are bringing into you, you need to let them go. It's time to let these go. The circumstances are still going to be there. The difficulties are still going to be there. The situations are still going to be there. However, the way you look at them is going to be shifted. It's going to have to shift. Lilith is asking you to shift the way you look at these circumstances. The negativity around them will not help you move past them. And it's one way for you to move forward in this new path that is opening up for you. And she wants you to know that she saw you doing the healing you needed to do. There was a lot of healing, especially emotional, especially emotional. A lot of clarity of mind is coming towards you because you have so much purity. I see a very strong, pure heart in the pile number two, number one. Strong, strong, pure heart. You have a gold heart here. And yes, you could have been taken advantage of. Yes, these are a characteristic of your personality that people have maybe pulled too much on. Maybe you have attracted energy vampires. You have attracted narcissists. You have attracted people who have um, basically used that against you. But you have also touched people in ways that they could have never been touched if you weren't there. So Lilith here is commanding you to see that about yourself. Your darkness and your light has spread so much in the world around you. It has already healed so many others. It has already touched so many others. The heart of so many others around you have been purified just by your mere presence. And especially emotionally. You have shown uh, others their darkness but not to make them ashamed or make them feel guilty only so that they can embrace all sides of themselves oh, the good the bad the ugly is also something that is part of them and that's something you are showing them in that way you're helping yourself heal that as well even the parts that you are not seeing about yourself your shadows have been revealed to you are going to be revealed to you through this work through this healing through you helping others you're also helping yourself and she wants you to see that about yourself to be clear-minded about all the work you've done it's a lot of hard work and you have gone through many past lives and in those past lives you've done hard work you've done even energy work healing work intuitive work and even through these around the, all of that time you haven't healed as much you have gained abilities you have gained things that you could still be discovering in this lifetime from past lives but the healing you've done in this life is amazing the work you've done in this life is amazing and because of that pile one you're bringing in change change around the heart chakra change around the relationships you are encountering there's something about the relationships you have whether they're romantic or platonic there's something about the relationship that are coming towards you that is forever changed justice Pile one, you have had the capacity, the strength, the purity of heart to cut all the snake heads that were coming towards you. Snakes that have shed their skin, that try to come back bigger, that try to show up in your life in a much bigger way, that try to kind of be sneaky around you. And in some times in your life, you used to give them another chance. You now you're able to cut off their hats it's done it's done those toxic relations connections they're done you're no more seeing them in this lifetime and those who are trying to come back or even those who are new but coming back in a way that they kind of smell like an old connection that was toxic you right away know it you right away feel it you are not uh, ashamed of saying no you're not ashamed or aware you actually you're clearly aware of their tactics their ways their methods their strategies you're not ashamed to say no you're not ashamed to push away to push back to stand up 
And this took a lot from you, Pai Huan. It took a lot from you. I am hearing this was not a natural way of you. It's like in your childhood, you were shut up. You were repressed. You were told not to say anything. You had to follow rules, regulations, things that society was telling you was right for you. Your parents were telling you that. You have shifted all of that. It's almost like your direction when you were a child. It was like, okay, look at this. This is where you should be going. Look, this is the right path. This is what you need to do, etc., etc. You have shifted from that. Not that you have changed completely, but you have shifted. You have refined it. You know exactly what is right for you and what is not. Not that these people, these parents, these caregivers were not in their best intentions towards you. It's just that they were not aware of your path, of your mission, of your soul's um, individual path. And now you know. And you know, and not only you know, but you're starting to like say, you know what? Because I know I am choosing to follow the path that I've chosen for myself. And thank you for your help. Thank you for what you've tried to do. Thank you for the good and the bad that you showed me. But it's up to me now to decide what is good and what is bad. It's up to me now to know what's right for me. And this is creating so much new growth. So much new growth. So this was part of your karmic movement. A karmic movement that was difficult in the beginning. But you know what? Slowly, slowly it started to accelerate. Kind of moving much smoother. I can tell that so many of you, you can feel it in the past few months, past few weeks, and you're going to start seeing that blossom in the next few years. The difficult karma, the difficult past, the difficult situations, things that were very difficult that you've gone through in the past, they are not going to come back again, pile one. That's the promise. With the justice card, that's the promise. It's a karmic promise here. You've done what you had to do. And now smooth sailing is coming these are two major arcanas from lilith here pile number one two major arcanas so she wants you to see clearly how you're changing how your life has changed how you're becoming divinely guided temperance and justice you're divinely guided towards your your goal your soul purpose but you're also following it you're also creating the reality you want for yourself the relationships that you want for yourself they're coming and they're created around you and here it's like a cocoon and your angels your guardian angels they're creating the cocoon they're creating a protective material around you but it's a material that is so soft so pure that it's not blocking the goodness from it to come it's not blocking your receptivity even though in the past when you used to heal, you could have blocked everything out. Now you don't need to do that anymore. You can heal. You can release toxic connections. But even while being around them, even while living with them, which is absolutely insane, if you think about it, some of you have to be in a specific situation, circumstance. But this has happened. You do not need to be toxically connected anymore karmically you're done you close the contract and we have the empress and the nine of cups a wish fulfillment is coming and it's not a wish that um i'm hearing your um your your parents wished something amazing for you whether they were around or not or your caregivers. At some point, they wished something. Whether they were able to deliver it, whether they were there for you, that's another story. But at some point, they did wish something good for you. However, you deviated from that path. You did not want that for yourself. Or you did not feel that your soul was meant for the path they were trying to push you, to direct you towards. With the Empress and the Nine of Cups, you will see that what you've done for yourself was the right thing. It's almost like a confirmation from your guides telling you, you did the right thing. You were on the right path. And so here we have number 333 being very important. And 
creating a peace of mind for yourself. You are becoming peaceful. You know, you are attracting the ones that are supposed to be attracted to you. You're aligning with them. You are aligning with the right lover. You're aligning with the right friends. You're aligning with the right colleagues, bosses, people who are supposed to align with you. With the Nine of Cups, it's a wish fulfillment. It's a wish come true. When you meet with them, you know. And it's a heart knowing. You know, your heart feels... Fe like it feels right and it's not a palpitation it's not something like butterflies butterflies for me they connect you to something that could be a bit karmic it's something that yes they could be butterflies but it's something much deeper than that much deeper than that and you know because you'll feel peaceful around these people there's a peace of mind of being yourself being authentic with these people but also feeling like they know everything about you whatever they know about you is not only going to be accepted, it's also going to be wanted, loved, desired. So I am hearing this is the time of the year. The things are shifting, the things are moving, the things are actually opening up. In ways that you're going to be so surprised. So some of you are meeting someone who is very special here. Yes, four of pentacles and building something that will be long term. You know, I also feel a lot of you have had to transform because of delays when it comes to your financial um, growth. You have felt that whatever you've been doing is not really working or you've been trying some things but they're not really fruitful. So you have to transform. There was something you had to do differently. Whatever that step is, whatever that risk that you had to take, it's transforming you. It's transforming your whole life. You did the right thing. Yes, Five of Pentacles. Some of you have suffered very recently from a money loss, from a job loss, from losing a home, losing something that was important to you, or even feeling unhealthy. But you still hoped for something with all these light around you you still believe that you were protected that you were in some ways guided here let's take a look at your message from Lilith it says apology forgiveness through mutual understandings forgiveness through mutual understandings so whatever you meeting these people could be from the past these people could even look like people from the past but you have forgiven them. You have released them from your heart. You have released the contracts that you had with them in a way that make you feel complete. Like you're not expecting anything from them. You're not going to overgive anymore to them. You just feel like they can't really touch you in the way you used to be. So if they're willing to exchange the right type of energy to align with you, then that's great. You're both vibrating in the right place. If not, then it's still good. And that's what it is. Forgiveness through mutual understandings. So you've released them. And that's beautiful, Pile 1. All right. So, by the way, don't forget, if you are interested in Reiki, if you want to learn Reiki, I am going to offer a course. Uh, if you are interested, you can email me. I will leave my email in the description box. And yes. Reiki is a beautiful way of healing. All right, Pile 2. Hello. Let's find out. What are your messages from Lilith? I am hearing Pile 2. Lilith is big in your aura. So some of you have worked with Lilith in the past or have started like being interested in the goddess. I also feel some of you are actually uh, currently exploring new ways of working with the dark feminine, whether it is Lilith, Kalima, or any other dark feminine. You are becoming a master in your field, Pile 2. Something that you've been exploring, you are going to be, like I'm seeing the next three years are going to be big for you. Death, transformation, rebirth. You know, I am being shown a stage 
like a theater stage, someone on a stage, someone on a stage that is going through a big transformation, like a caterpillar. They're coming out of a cocoon and they're becoming, they're transforming into a beautiful butterfly. And people are watching them. And this butterfly is you. But it's so interesting because people came to watch you on that stage. So you're renowned. People are coming here to see you transform. But the transformation is going to surprise them because whatever butterfly is coming out is not what they were expecting to see. And there is a huge like, oh, that's what I'm being shown right now. It's like, oh, what? You know, you're on stage, you're becoming this butterfly. And even though people came to see that transformation, the transformation surprises them. Who you are becoming is very surprising. And it's coming, I'm hearing it's coming from the inner self, like inner depth of who you are. And I'm seeing root chakra energy, a lot of primal energy, a lot of you. This is ancestral knowledge that has been being rebirthed, reborn through you. So you guys are being connecting yourself to some kind of ancestral knowledge, wisdom, abilities. And that's why, even though people are here ready to watch you transform, or they're like, oh yeah, we know Pyro has been doing a lot of healing work, or you know, yeah, we know they're doing stuff. But they're not going to expect who you're becoming. This beautiful butterfly is not in the colors or in the ways that they're expecting you to be. And it's a big aha. It's a big thing. And you are, it's like you're helping them go through their own death and rebirth. And again, you are connecting with some kind of ancestral wisdom here, ancestral abilities, dormant psychic abilities that are coming from the past. That are being shown to you, pile two, being shown to you because of all the work you've done. But people around you are going to be shocked. The hangman. Pile two, I see you. Um, you could have seen someone in the street, like you, you spoke to someone in the street, or you have seen like a someone who's walking in the street and you had a, a, a small word with that person could have been a hi or just a smile could have been someone f on the floor like begging you know and you just said a hello or have a good day um it's something very small like that and it touched their hearts you touch the heart to people you're not even aware of pile two you have those, um, I'm hearing those, uh, it's like a feature about you. Is it the eyes? There is a feature, let me know what that is. Something on your face, the way you actually look, there's something about your physical looks that is very healing, very purifying to others. It makes them want to confide in you. They feel comforted around you, nurtured in some ways. Hugged by you hugged by you in times where they want to cry when they see that everything is sad there's just rain and things are not working pile two i see that lilith here wants to be telling you explaining you warning you notifying you of the big change coming death and the hangman Especially, especially, this is a message, especially to those who thought that things are moving forward, but then they stopped, who thought that they've made a big step, but then things slowed down. These movement of slowing down or having to like stop something, if that's you, this is specifically a message for you, Pile 2. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Ace of Wands. There is some kind of, first thing I hear here, Pao Tzu, I have to say it. You have a, a certain drive that is going to be awakened here. You know, we talked about something that blocked, that stopped, that waited, that you had to kind of slow down. It's not just yes, but now 
it's a movement forward but it's it's a very different movement forward from before that's why you had to slide down that's why you had to wait that's why you were in this hangman death you had to observe something so yes maybe these are the ancient um ancestral knowledge that was kind of being brought up from the bottom to the surface that's why you had to wait in order for you to access so that you can move forward but you'll see that the movement ahead is easier now ace of wands it's coming as an inspiration as a fire as passion out of you but it's not something that you have to work for which is so interesting pile too because i believe you guys had to work for everything you didn't have it easy you did not have it easy pile two and some of you need to eat more mushrooms by the way mushrooms are very healing to you they're very healing to your body your vitamin you need that you need that in order to create or recreate patterns release certain stuff from your body you'll know if this is for you pile two but i see you movement moving forward in a way that you don't expect because it's it's not your type of energy pile too like maybe you're doing it a certain way when you work with something you do it a specific way or maybe let's say you apply to a job this is how i apply to a job this is how i do an interview this is what blah 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 you do have some kind of method but this is changing new way new way ace of wands completely new and it's almost like you're looking at yourself from the out the outside like you're like here and you're outside looking at yourself this is ability these are great abilities of self-awareness that are being gifted to you because of that you're learning to move forward in a very different way and it's going to be so creative so productive so fruitful you guys could be seeing three birds in the next few days lily Lilith has a message for pile number two. Justice. And this came out in pile one. But your justice is... Um, I am hearing your justice is you li You are liber liberated, freed uh, from... I'm hearing the guns of the past. So some of you felt like you were so stuck. It was almost like a gun on your head. You are liberated from the guns of the past, pile two. You guys could have been stuck in something very difficult. I'm hearing even feeling almost strangled. Strangled. Wow, I feel someone very strongly here needing um, to let go or to be let go. There is something here that is coming to cut through those blockages, those limitations. I'm also hearing some of you, it is actually self-limiting beliefs six of cups and ultimately pile two ultimately lilith is wanting you to go back to part of you that was so sweet and innocent something about your childhood something about when you were young maybe even a part of your life it doesn't have to be so young but a part of your life where you felt sweetness there's something about sweetness joy maybe even Having felt like maybe lately you lost that joy or it was very difficult to feel joy again, an emotion that is very difficult to connect to again. Lilith is telling you this is coming back in your life, joy. Joy, but pure joy. Joy like you were when you were a child and climbing a tree, where you were a child and eating fruits, where you were a child and discovering things, exploring. It's a very pure joy that does not involve material things, actually. It does not involve specific people. It does not have to be a certain way. It does not involve structure. It does not involve a method. It only involves your heart, your purity, and everything is opening. Pile three, uh, sorry, pile two. <laughs> everything is opening. Gifts are opening. You're going to be um, so relieved. Something is being... Wow, you're releasing something. Strength. Leo energy. Very strong Leo energy. Pile two. Um, again, look at this, the snake here, the serpent. Trying to aggress. But you know what? This is stronger. Even with the wilderness, this is becoming strong. It's holding it. 
it's not afraid of it, it's aware of it, but it's not being controlled by the snake. When some of you really felt that the situation you couldn't let go of or was very difficult, but it's being released. And some of you, it has to do with your children. Your children are going to be released from that difficult situation pile too. Just see. I'm hearing just wait and see. Maybe it is about a loved person, a loved one who's been going through issues in their health or through other issues. You felt bad. You felt like it will never go. But it's going. The Empress. It's going. There's so much goodness coming. There's so much fertility coming towards you. You're going to be crowned as this beautiful Empress, put on a throne, loved, desired, wanted, and seen for who you truly are. The Empress. So Lilith wants you to connect to your Venus energy power too. Venus here needs to be um, embraced in your life, in your everyday life. Get yourself flowers. Put yourself some makeup on if you want to. Get dressed for no reason. Wear your beautiful perfumes for no reason. Enjoy this Taurus energy, Venusian energy on an everyday level. And that's how you honor Venus. And Lil is pushing you toward this. This is your dark feminine energy. She wants you to see your Venus inside and really embrace it. It's going to help you with this transition. Because you are in a time of transition. The first card was death. Right? All right, let's take a look at your last. Communicate. Receive and express the truth. Receive and express the truth. <laughs> Very beautiful. Many times we believe that we are saying something, we are being truthful with others, we are being honest, but we tend to forget that um, in order to truly be truthful and honest, we need to embrace our darkness, not just our light. We cannot be pure, honest, and truthful without first acknowledging that we also sometimes lie, that we also have, have our darkness, and there's nothing to be ashamed of. I feel that here there's something about your communication style, your communication outlook, the way you speak about yourself, about others, the way you express yourself in general, whether it is through voice or even the way you dress, the way you are the way you're seen around the world, the way you communicate, whether these are nonverbal or verbal, is shifting, has shifted. There was a death and rebirth. There is a change in the way you communicate. And that's going to be so great for you. It's going to help you receive so many gifts. So many gifts are being received because of this shift, because of this transformation. So congratulations, Pile 2. Let me know if this resonated. By the way, don't forget to let me know if you're interested in a Holy Fire Reiki course. It's going to be offered by me. I am going to be teaching it. Uh, so, yes, I will leave down on the description box my email address. If you're interested, you can email me. Uh, Holy Fire Reiki is an important way of healing through energy work. So if some of you are interested, don't forget to email. And that's it. So... I love you guys so much. I'll see you later.